Thank you, Susan. The Target 12 investigator is also taking you inside the mafia now. A witness for the government was reluctant to give testimony today against the former mob boss. And we've learned shortly before the testimony, a car next to the witness's pizza shop burst into flames. Target 12 investigator Tim, Co Tim White was in the courtroom today and is here now with the latest. On the stand was Peter Boris. Prosecutors say he co-owned a nightclub in the 1980s that was ultimately taken over by members of the New England crime family. But today, he claimed not to remember exactly what happened. Before the Channel Nightclub in Boston was owned by Stephen DeSaro and his brother-in-law, it was in the hands of this man, Peter Boris. But investigators say mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi and his son Salemi Jr. wanted a piece of it. In federal court in Boston on Tuesday, Boris was a difficult witness for prosecutors claiming not to remember specifics on how he lost ownership of the club. The state fire marshal's office confirms for Target 12, a car burst into flames next to Boris's Hall, Massachusetts pizza shop, no this past April. Did the car fire cause any concern at all? Not at all. Not at all? No. Do you think that was coincidental? Did, have they given you a cause as to what the fire I, was all about? I think it was coincidental. Frank Salemi and co-defendant Paul Wiedek are accused of killing DeSaro in 1993. Investigators say Salemi was concerned DeSaro was going to cooperate with the FBI. The pair have pleaded not guilty. Salemi Jr. died of natural causes in 1995. The 84-year-old Salemi was not in court on Tuesday for his own trial. He's fine. He was still a little tired. He took the morning off. We'll be back in tomorrow morning. The Massachusetts Fire Marshal's Office tells us that car fire outside Boris's pizza shop remains under investigation. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.